Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to make realistic lighting. You can make something like this. Lighting kind of like this. And if you wanted to use it as an ability, this is, how, this is an example of how you can use it, this is how I use it. Here it is, lightning. Using the technique I'm about to show you guys today. It's point accurate. It doesn't clip through walls. And the best part, my favorite part of all, it's zinc. <laughs> it chains between players. You can find this all at my Patreon when it opens in April, Todd. Full detailed tutorial, including the, the model. So stick around for that. If you want to walk with us, you can hit me up in Discord. My username is on the screen right now. Or you can go check the description. Just copy and paste it. Okay, time for us to get into the video. How can we actually start making security? First, you're going to need a lightning module, which will be in the description. Just going to drag the lightning module inside the workspace. Then it's going to appear in workspace and just print replicated storage. Then we're going to create a sphere. Just if it's not shown through, just come here and click sphere. Then I'll raise this a little bit in the air, anchor it, add an attachment to it. This is going to be our staffing position. Now we're just going to duplicate that, control D, move it a little to the side. This is going to be our end position. Okay, now we're going to add a script and stat pose to show you how to start making the lightning. This lightning module wasn't made by me, it was made by someone much smarter. Uh, I'll just call that Olive. There they are. Okay, so let's begin. First, we're gonna get the lightning module. If you haven't noticed from my last two videos, I literally cannot spell lightning. So, <laughs> copy and paste that. Now, since we kept in replicated storage, we're just gonna get replicated storage. Then the lightning module. Okay, so next we're just gonna get the parts. We call it stat pose and and pose, we can use a comma and just create two locals at the same time. It's amazing. Since that pose would be the script of parent, and end pose would be in the workspace. Now we're just gonna get the attachments in them. Call it A1 and A2 for staff position and end position. Okay, now we're just gonna do lightning bolt. That new, the staff position, end position, and attachment, and then the last parameter will basically be how many bolts you want, how many tiny blocks you want. So I'll show you. If we set this twenty, and we run this, you can see we get twenty little bolts like that. Now, how do we change base? How do we change this? How do we change color, size, everything about it? I'm about to show you guys that. But before I do, can I just thank you guys for 28 subscribers? That's amazing. I really appreciate it. Okay, continuing. We're just gonna double click lightning ball. Go into the script. Scroll down to line 59. From line 59, we're going to copy all the way, hold shift, to line 79. So 20 lines of code. And paste it here. Now to use all these properties, we're just going to have to put this in a local variable, in a variable. And we'll call this new world. Now we press Control H. Copy self and keep it in the first place. Copy new ball, keep it in the second place, and click the last one here. Now these are all the properties. I'm gonna to explain to you what each property does. The first one is curve size. We can just fold the curve size of a beam. 
So if we add a beam and you want to like see where the lighting is gonna come beforehand, I could just do it this way. Add a first attachment zero B curve size will be stack position. The attachment home will be end position. That's a curve size of zero. If we set curve size to 20, then the lightning's going to follow this path. 20. See, now the lightning follows that curve. And you can delete this, and it will still follow the curve. So you can just use beams to map out where you want the lightning to be beforehand. So it's not kind of like a guessing game anymore. I'm just going to set this to zero now. Okay, the, this has min radius and max radius. Basically, the fluctuations between the vaults, essentially, how zigzaggy it is. Right now, the maximum range it can, like, zig is 2.4. If we set this to 10, we should get very zigzag <laughs> lightning. As you can see, it's more zigzag. And if we set this to zero, we should get a straight-ish enough line. This is, that's the minimum and that's the maximum. So to go in anywhere in between those two values. Now we have new vault. Basically the frequency of the zigzag. If we set this to 10, we should be getting more zigzags overall. See, there's a lot more zigzags now. Now, pay attention. The lightning isn't just like appearing. It's moving. You can see it wiggle. That's going to be important for one of the other properties, which is animation speed. This is basically how fast the, the lightning jiggles, essentially. If we put this at zero, you see it's just create the zig and not move the lightning. No parts will be moving, just creating it where it needs to be created. Oh, it looks still if it's not like a moving lightning. As you can see, it's not wiggling around. It's just being created, which is giving it this still effect. But it is moving. I can guarantee you that. Watch this. Oh, it looks completely still. That's weird. Now, if we set the pulse length, never mind. Okay. So it basically doesn't animate it anymore. It used to wiggle around, but now it doesn't anymore. Okay, thickness is basically how thick you want the lightning to be. If set to point 0.1, you get really thin lightning. The bigger the number, the bigger the thicker the lightning is. Ooh, I like that. Okay, min thickness and max thickness is basically the minimum thickness and the maximum thickness. There's even an explanation here. It multiplies thickness value by a fluctuating random value between mean thickness and like along the wall. What it's basically saying, it just multiplies this thickness by a random value between these two points. So I'm just going to set that back to 1. I think you guys get here, so I'm going to move on. Min transparency and max transparency. It basically changes transparency as it goes along into like a random transparency. So if we set this to 0 0.3, it should be almost see-through. See, it's more transparent. If you really wanted it to see true, then you can set something like 0.6. Now it's pretty much invisible. This is like a random number between 0.6 and 1. Some will be 1. Okay, that looks weird. But I guess I could use something, I guess. Anytime you see pulse here, it just means lightning. So this is lightning speed. The higher the number, the faster the lightning moves. If we set this to 30, it should just zoom across. It's going to be three times faster. I don't know if you can notice, if you notice it being three times faster. I guess it is. Now, I'm just going to put this in a while loop. So, it'll be easier for me to show the rest of what I'm going to show. Ctrl A, Ctrl C, Ctrl V to invent everything properly. Now, pulse length is basically the length of the lightning. If we set this to 2 and set speed a little like 5 or something, you see lightning doesn't just stream across, it kind of shoots across like that. 
So shoot. Set it to one if you want more of a lightning bolt effect and not like a lightning stream or something. And this way the speed can really be visible. Ooh, you're about to see something really fast. Oh my god, I can barely see it. Now it moves extremely quickly. And then we have color. Basically the color of the lightning. If you want to change this color, just come here. Click this rainbow. Choose the color you want. Let's say I wanted a light blue. No, that's, that's better. Let's say I wanted that blue. I can click that. Then run and have a light blue. Ooh, not bad actually. You could edit this to create some amazing effects. I'm guessing color asset speed just changes its color over time depending on the color here. So that's basically it. You s congratulations, you stuck all the way to the end. Time for me to give you a special bonus. How to make out how to add lightning sparks. Yes. I know, amazing. So first we're just gonna do sparks. Ctrl C that some save us some time and do this. Since the lightning sparks isn't lightning bolt, just do dot lightning bolt. Lightning sparks. And right at the bottom we can do sparks dot new. Put the new ball. And this is how many sparks we want. So I'm gonna put 20. No, 20 is a little too, too much for that distance. I'm gonna put 10. And as you can see, we should get sparks. Tada, sparks. And that's the video, guys. You made it all this way. Go create something amazing and send it to me in Discord when you're done. I would love to see what you guys created. And if you guys want to walk with us again, Discord name up on the screen right now uh, in the description and my patreon will be open on april 3rd i know you're excited it's i can't wait to you now if this is something that helped you a like is always appreciated and comment down below i want to see how many people i'm actually helping and if this is something you like to see more of you could subscribe bye i wish you good a good luck on your scripting journey.